Yo, what's going on guys? Wanted to do a quick little move guide for you so you can consistently carry on him. The main thing is don't take a leash because it gives away your starting position on the map. The second thing is Amumu's level three is great for ganking. His level four and five is no difference other than just trying to get your R faster. You don't really need flash on Amumu because he has two points of gap closing, which is his Q offensively and defensively. You can close in with it. Defensively, you jump to like a minion or a monster camp to get away. So having flash doesn't really help you out that much unless it's in the true late game where you can jump in on someone flash then R. That's totally different. The main thing you have to focus on Amumu is getting good value out of his early game because that's where he struggles the most. So if you're doing nothing in the early game, that's typically where you'll lose the game. With this Mordekaiser, we might be able to gank for him. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. But when we're just looking to solo star on wraps with E, then do red then Krugs. If we have a gank, we have it, we'll take it. If not, we reset and pick up a Dark Seal. First item will be a Demonic. We'll get tier two boots and a Jack Show. And then we'll go ahead and pick up a Sunfire. The build really is that simple. You don't really want Aftershock on a Mumu. It's pretty pointless to have. It takes away a lot of damage output and solo potential and carry potential. It gives you tankiness basically whenever you CC someone on a 30 40 second cooldown. The problem is, is if they're CC, they're not hitting you anyway. So it's more for turret diving, and I'd say iron through diamond people are terrible at turret diving anyway. So I wouldn't bother up against the nocturne. There's really no jungler that you're looking to solo with on a mumu. The ignite does give you the option though, uh, depending on the situation. But we're not going to invade them because oh, we have ignite, let's invade them. No, a mumu's early game isn't baked for that it's not built for it now if we see what we want to see we can use our potion while we're taking this camp and we have plenty of health and i think i might actually see what i want to see here he's big mode we might be able to do something we want to get as close as we can before we throw q because it has travel time don't want him to dodge it Ooh. i'm gonna ignite him early all right, we got his flash. That gank is actually a huge success because Ignite's a lower cooldown than flash. We wanted the back anyways. And obviously he's a laner, he doesn't want it back. So this is totally fine. We immediately grab Dark Seal. We don't even have to ever come back to this lane. We'll pick up Oracles. We got all of our health back. We're in a really, really good spot. Even if that gank didn't pan out, that's fine. That's just the general concept. If you see the gank after we're level three, we take it. We didn't really miss any camps to do that because there was no camps left to take on this side. So now we could Gromp, Blue Wolves, and the Raps Krugs, and they'd come up perfectly in that order. Uh, what I would like to do is maybe look for something bot side. They're both pretty low. Uh, we see Nocturne heading over. We'll go ahead and stop doing our blue buff. I don't typically stop doing my camps, but if it's a kill, it's a kill. Mm, she needed to keep moving. She shouldn't have stood still to auto. We jump away with Q. This guy's moving crazy fast. Nocturne's very meta right now. We can't really find him even with item advantage. With an E auto and we walk away. We did kind of save him from a set there a little bit. Soraka shouldn't have shown there. With the Q E. Auto Q. It's easiest to land your Q's at point blank range. I'd like to take this into the gank. Looks like they're backed off anyways. Even if I went for it, we probably wouldn't be able to get it. So no gank bot, no gank mid right now. Set's too low for me to gank for. Our best move is to just farm it towards top side. Sure, we have a little bit of gold. No point to back. We have enough health to farm right now. We're already on top of our camp, so we don't have to walk to get there. Instead, we'll stay on the map. There's no need. As a jungler, as a general rule, if you're healthy enough to farm and you're already at the camp, you typically take the camp. And that's what we're gonna do. On a Mumu, you want to max your E first, Q second, W last, your E's your main clear tool. And your Q's your main gap closing tool. If you have two charges of your Q and you go into a gank, no matter how many points you have into it, you'll only really be able to use your Q twice anyway, so. That's why you don't typically max your Q first. Turn off the tears. You can go over the wall if you have your Q. Any wall you can go over with your Q it has enough range if it hits any type of enemy. I 
only auto the big one because whenever they hit us whenever we take autos from anything it puts our e on a lower cooldown so we want the little ones to actually live as long as possible we should have at least one queue up to gank now by the time we finish this crowd camp I have double buffs, it would have been bad to re reset, especially since I have Dark Soul. I'm getting high value out of ganking and getting kills and whatnot. You don't even have to get Mesh on a Mumu. The Dark Soul alone pays for itself easily. Level 5, we'll get another point of E. Wow, big kill from the Mord. I'll harvest this just because I don't know where their jungler is. Now I'll reset. At least I'm giving vision Why Mord finishes pushing the wave. Have no camps to take, so we're not. Backing here is good. Uh, yeah, we want to get as much of Demonic as we can while still getting boots and a control ward. You don't really want the health part of Demonic first because when you gank, they're trying to get away from you. So we want more damage to get the kill. None of Amumu's abilities scale off of HP either, so you don't get more damage or anything by having HP. We'll get the Amp Tome and a Giant's Belt next. Finish the Demonic into a jack show into sunfire looks like they just got dragged this sucks Ooh, even nefaris here we need to break these it's a lot of vision she needs to break that ah oh. all right we can take this we get him with the Q, E, nice, the Q, oof, he, I just gave him attack speed, whenever you hit his spell shield with an ability, it just gives him attack speed, so, that was actually an unfortunate timing on my part, wasn't necessarily expecting the spell shield at that moment, this Nocturne is playing well, he's going to the right spots at the right time, our win condition is basically me outscaling him, because we both have roughly the same amount of successful ganks, uh, he's 3kp, I'm 2kp, but he has a death, I don't have a death, I need to get six here. He already is six with more CS and having more kills. Wolves will get us close to it. Your general mark is a jungler. You're shooting for seven minute 30. If you're ganking heavy, you'll usually hit it closer to eight minute mark, which is about what we're going to be hitting it here. We can look around and see where it is. It normally shows it. It shows his darkness trail, his Q trail. Speeds him up, gives him extra AD. We can go mid against Nefari. She's not the easiest champ to gank. Could pull it here. Hold on to my Q since we're about to gank. She's low mana. Get her with the Q E. Cool. It's an ultimate hunter stack. No need for us to reset. We have Dark Silver getting big value from these ganks. We also have boots, so we're not particularly slow. Also have two camps up nearby. Could potentially look for Herald, but I have R. I don't like to back when I have R up since it's such a good R. Move the QR. He's ignited as well. So it looks like this is going to turn out for us. So I'll go ahead and push in the wave. Hmm. I'm surprised we weren't able to get the kill off that. I'm going to ping this off. I don't don't ping your teammates directly. Ping the danger on the map that you're perceiving as danger. They they either listen to you or they won't. But don't ping your teammates directly because they don't even know what you're trying to say. Uh, let's go for this. Oops, sorry. <laughs> let's go for this, and we'll push out. Couldn't quite kill the Nar. We almost had enough damage. We kind of wanted the back though. Anyways, we're sitting on a lot of gold. Got to use our R. I'm not saying you should just go somewhere for the sake of using your R and not get a kill. I, I thought we were going to get the kill there. We didn't quite have enough damage. In a perfect world, you'll stun them with R first. Hit them with an auto E, then Q them. And they can't dodge it because they're still stunned from your R. So you'll R, auto E, you'll have your tears on, and the Q, auto Q. I'll cycle them out. Keep them perma CC'd. My blue buffs up. Nar has a lot of health. I don't even think he ended up backing or teleporting. It's just his fleet kill. Fleet gives you full heal against turrets, not against minions. I'm moving 360. He's moving 380. I have tier 1 boots. He has tier 2, so we'd expect him to move faster. I want to get him red buff autos. We can't quite get to it, so we use Q. 
He burned his flash. So that's a bad chase. I'm on kind of the wrong side of the map now. My camps are away from me. Uh, I can't really buy what I want to buy is the issue. Someone might be coming up here. They just popped a vision thing. My R is about to be up, so I don't necessarily want to leave. I don't have enough gold to buy the boots that I want. That's, that's the tough part here. Give the Q auto E. This is a bad fight though. Give the Q auto R. E. Down he goes. We cycled our CC mixing in autos and E's in between. That's how he was able to die. This guy has stride breaker. We'll let him be. He was hovering this bush because he didn't have vision. So he's trying to give himself vision by using himself. And then he thought, oh, I can solo move. It's like, no, Buster, you can't. You don't have real items. I mean, we could go Lucid. The thing is, their team's so physical damage heavy. If they have a great mix of AP and AD, sure, you can flex into Lucid's or even Swifties. Because they're cheap. Cheapest boots. Look at their team, though. They're all physical damage except for Renata. And Renata isn't even really a primary source of damage. Therefore, if I go for Plated, I can get way more value and perform as a much stronger frontliner, stay alive with full conk stacks and beat people down. Are uh, they actually trying to take that? They really, really are. They really did. I am shocked. Her, her dogs are blocking my Q. That's a bad interaction for me. I didn't realize her dogs blocked that. I suppose any kind of pet creature does. Heimer turrets. Uh, Andy Tibbers Daisy from Ivern. Start maxing our Q now. They are going to take that dragon. They're getting a lot. Nocturne being as meta as he is. I think Nocturne is currently like a top five jungle champion. And just about every ELO too. It's basically Iron to Challenger. It's all because of Stride Breaker too. The item gets way too many stats. It's it's because Bruiser players top lane complains they don't have enough carry potential, so then they basically buff Bruiser items. But junglers can take Bruiser items is the thing, and that's the issue we're in right now. So then what do they do? They directly nerf jungle item, which hasn't necessarily solved anything because that wasn't the root of the problem. It wasn't jungle. It was. Gore Drinker and uh, Stride Breaker, specifically, that have been very problematic this patch. I don't know if they'll be able to get the next two dragons. As we get more armor and more health and more does the same thing, apparently. We get in a stronger and stronger position. And I'm on Demonic now, too, so I can shred... If I touch anyone with any part of my W, it just my W fully applies the mnemonic. I should have saved a Q charge on Gromp. That was my mistake. Could go right over this wall if he got close enough. Well, it actually didn't word it this time. Cool. I do have my R. We'll take it through the lane bush. <sighs> this is one of your best places to go through whenever the gank is not underneath somebody's turret. When it's super neutral. And the supports have support item to lay plenty of wards with. Oh, cool. It's warded. <laughs> nice. Nobody, Nobody's bothering to check these bushes. Why am I even over here? They're going to step up and be greedy. She has Mobies as well. So she's going to be slow. Seth's so going to get himself killed. That's what he's doing. He should step up for the wave. They're checking that bush. I'm not in that bush, though. No, I don't think they have the wards either. Is there a sweep or Soraka? There we go. Okay, it's not worded. We're good to go, then. I do have a couple of camps up, so it sucks we're waiting, but my R's up. If my R wasn't up, I wouldn't be doing this. Got the Q and the R. Got with Ignite. Teammates... Basically, no follow-up, but we're still able to make it work. Yeah, that's It's worth it. Like That's worth more than getting three or four camps. Or even a heck of full clear at this point, since I'm already level 6 and up full item. I'm not really putting myself behind. Solution hurts. 
Huh, oh, I'm dead. Good bait by Lucian. I thought he was just trolling because he didn't want to give up minions, but Nocturne was actually there. So hopefully Zaya gets her snare. She gets down her R, but she gets feared. She's got to kite it out. She got off a really weak snare there. And they're, yeah, they're both going to die. That's bad. Jack show it is. That's a little unfortunate. Well played by the Lucian. He baited me. I thought he was just being a noob. He wants to finish his coal. And no, no, no. Nocturne actually walked it there. I had nowhere to go. I should have just walked away. Bought a little bit more time. My teammates kind of ended up just staying as I walked forward. I really thought we were going to fight it. We need more time. This game has to slow down. It's starting to speed up way too fast. Yep. I do have Demonic. Might be able to, maybe. Nocturne's on Herald right now. Nars R is still on cooldown. We can get him with Smite, kind of walk him down with red buff. Auto E. Auto E. I have the minions, so. Hmm, this is bad. Get him with an R. Yeah, I'm dead. Well played to Renata. She killed me. No clue why she's top right now when bot turrets are still up. But uh, she said, you know what? I should show up top even though the enemy top laner is dead. I'll just come over here. She probably showed up for Harold. There was no point though because our top laner is already dead. There's no way for us to contest it. Hmm. That's a rough fight, man. I don't have R for this drag fight. It's going to be a tough one. They're kind of stacking magic resist here. Let's see what set Rocka can do. Can't keep giving drags though. Eventually you have to fight for them. We could wait till it's soul fight for sure. But uh, it's riskier and riskier the longer you wait. Get out the QE, very nice. Miss Lucian with my Q. I'll try to walk this chick down with my smite on. Alright, bud, keep running. Line yourself up with the wall. Thank you very much. And I actually didn't go over the wall with her there. That's incredible. Well played to her. Alright, Nar's not over here. They did technically win that since Nar won his solo fight, but we won our fight over here. Nefori got herself killed super early. I don't have Smite is the thing. Cool, that was Bounty shot down. Nice. Yeah, we have to just make sure whoever... Uh, like kind of stop whoever's getting focused. So basically if Nocturne or Nefari goes on set, then we got to pill for set. If they go on my back line, we got to pill, pill for my back line. They got a lot of damage. Nocturne has to be over here, right? Like why is she pestering me by herself like that? Q onto that, get this guy with R, auto EQ. Down you go, Buster Brown. That's how it goes. Whenever you queue a champion, you do have time to walk if you're trying to get to another one to R them both. I haven't done that yet this game because I haven't really seen the opportunity for it. So I've just been Q, auto E, then R, then um, Q again. I've been walking that much during my CC. Ooh, that's so good. I actually wouldn't mind them taking an inhibit here to be completely honest with you. We need to catch back up in gold somehow. Break the turret, you fools. Their stupid dogs block my attacks. Yeah, they got inhib. Mord's randomly trying to 1v2. Needs to walk that way. Nocturne's there. 
We got Jack show. I pinged it out for him. He might actually die because of it. No matter which way he ran there, I think he dies is the thing. If Nocturne ran the cutoff route, he's just kind of screwed. Gets off a good R. Nocturne's gonna go in here, of course. I get the Q. Smite. Q. I try to get the triple R here. I'll get the solo R. Why are we kiting away from Nocturne? He's so low and we're running away from him. <laughs> oh my gosh. He almost lived. I'm pretty big at this point. Double armor items with double health items. Some dark seal. We avoided falling behind too far in the early game. And now we're able to kind of make up for it in the late game. They're also making mistakes to be fair. It's not like they're playing flawlessly. If they played flawlessly, it'd be very challenging for us to come back from the position we were in. Got off the stun smite, she's ignited. Got, I gotta go back in with my Q. My Q's on cooldown. I was getting pretty low there. I was shredded off <clears throat> the black cleaver and whatnot. We need Sunfire now. Nocturne went for a Frozen Heart. That's hilarious. It's a really funny item. Very funny. It's good they didn't get that last dragon. Now we don't have to worry about them getting soul anytime soon. Even if you're winning the game, they can always kind of smite fight you for it. Make things harder than they need to be. Please, I don't do it. Here we go. Let's break these wards. I do have R. Nocturne's pretty tanky. Bunch of HP items. Gotta get to my Zaya. Big moves from the Zaya. Land the Q, triple R. Q the Nocturne, he smited. Oh, we're in trouble. I have nothing to Q to now. <clears throat> That's bad. Well played to them. Somebody died bot side during that time. It's like, seriously? I don't have much mana. I might not be able to pull this off. I'm glad I have red jungle item to burn him up. The red jungle item slow and max health damage I was able to do there just by hitting him with a single tier. It made that so much easier. It's 4% max health damage. Pretty good. I'm buying mesh for the movement speed. I'm not really buying it for the AP. Although the AP is certainly useful. It's an easy drag. Nar's dead. I'm gonna push the wave so they can't walk it into our turret while we're doing the drag real quick. Gotta pull it out. I'll peel for the Zaya, of course. I guess I don't really need to pull it out. Nocturne's gonna have to R to commit either way. Soraka needs to not lose all of her health over the wall. Got it. Nice. That's big. Big, big, big. It's big that they're not getting it is why what makes it big. If we can keep Zaya alive, man. After Sunfire, it's either going to be Zhonya's or Frozen Heart for us. I could even go for Abyssal, I suppose. The problem is they don't have magic damage, so the magic resist is going to feel useless. Get him with the Q. Trying to get past him. He's shredding me. I'm going to Q the Gnar. Try to get him off my teammates. Alright. Kite this back. This is a bit of a bad fight for us. My R was wasted. It's hard though because of her stupid dogs, bro. Seriously. That's huge. Set just won that fight with that power fist, or, I should, or you could say Lucian lost that fight with that dash. 
We could take quite a bit here. Trying to stop the recalls. Hmm. Heal me, Soraka, you fool! Oh, I missed it. So, oh my gosh. That was stupid. I missed the timing. I couldn't hear the guardian angel. There's a specific sound it makes. I legit can't hear it with these headphones on. It's turbo fed. At this stage. It's a frozen heart angle right now, I'd say. Zonis would be just as good. I could go in super deep in a fight. Hold on to my R. Zonis come out. R everybody. The main damage deal on their team is Nocturne, Nar, and Lucian. No, I don't think Nefuri is a big issue. I'll try not to solo R her. I mean, as long as we hit someone with our R, it's getting okay value. We really want to hit two or more champions, though. It's AoE after all. Second and a half. He was only one second in single target. Hey, friend. Oh, that's not good. That was... <laughs> my goodness. Ward's dead here. I don't even know why we all just went bot. Get him with my R. He smited. I did a lot more damage than he was expecting there. His double magic is this. It's inhibiting my damage quite a bit. We could probably base race them. They're not grouped up. If we have all of us here. I'm also very... Soraka should not be backing right now. I don't know why Soraka backed. It's not like she can solo anyone there. We should have just base raced it. Nocturne versus four of us pushing a turret. Who's going to win? Us. <laughs> oh, well. Nocturne's probably going to arm me here. He's in the area somewhere, unless he reset. We already watched, watched him come over here. I guess he backed. Alright. Guess I could go Bramble for heal cut. Alright. Well, only I think only Nefari is really healing with Gorgor the Gore Drink. Nocturne's got a little bit of healing on passive. If Lucian goes live still, I'll I'll get a Thorn Mill. They're trying to play macro. They don't trust their team fight anymore. Yeah, they do not trust their team fight, so they're trying to macro it. Here's the Q. Is he trying to make sure his team gets dragon or what? They will probably get drag here. We might be able to clean up though. I say we go drag. My t other teammates aren't really over here though. I don't have smite. Got it. That's huge. Hey friend. I completely missed her. She's really tanky. Lots of health. Double HP items. Demonic's on 3k. It's on fire. Not even 500. I've had it the not I've had it the least long out of all my items, to be fair. It's done the least damage. Good thing Lucian can't still dragon like a jinx rocket, because I didn't have smite. Oh jeez. I'm getting set fisted. All right, they're gonna get one inhib. We get the Baron, got the dragon. The wind drags are pretty good for stopping split pushes. They shouldn't have nerfed them though. They're down to 5% from seven. It's kind of whack. 
Out of combat, move 463. You basically all have Mobies. Hmm. Can I get to this guy? I guess not. Wild. Question is, what happens if they keep stalling the game by only hitting waves? I think eventually we get Draxel and then we win. Draxel is pretty devastating to win one. Lots of constant movement speed plus big movement speed whenever you press R. Plus their respawns get longer and longer per their champion level. So whenever we do pick one of them, they'll suffer for longer. I'll hover here. Set should not be that far up. This is a dangerous position that Mord's in. Okay, we see Nocturne bot. That opens up some options for us. We can start to step forward. I'm on a ward though. We have the minions mid lane. We have more of the wave chewed up. Don't know why my teammates aren't staying with that wave. I guess they want us five man top. It's fine. They gotta come to us. They can't out race base races. Hey friend. Oh, Renata. And they, they can try to try to win this fight 4v5. We'll see. Hey Lucian. Save me. Oh. Alright, I got it back. It's more important that I stay alive. I can solo stall the game. I think I can actually solo a few of them now as well. 300 AP, 32 minutes in. I can grab this wave, stop that from happening. I can stop the bot wave as well. I'm not going to get on the range minions because I want to use my E spam. Now I'll get on them. Because if I kill them, then I won't be able to kill the supers. Uh... My teammates should know that I wasn't there. They kept pushing. Hopefully they don't think I just abandoned them. So one HP. I'm full build. There's nothing else we can get other than selling something for Frozen Heart. With how hard Nar can kite me out, Nocturne healing, and uh, I, I assume the Lucian Bloodthirster incoming. I kind of want to keep the Thorn Melt. Soraka stepping up to fight minions right now. This is so bad. Like This is not worth. We don't need vision. Dragon isn't up for another minute. There's no reason to have vision of this area. Uh, there's no point. We already know they're going to want to go to dragon when it's up. All we need to know when dragon's up. We don't need wards. So much risk there. If there's three of them, she dies. They get dragged. Like over there, she should not be over there. They have Nocturne R. It's like a baby playing with an electrical outlet with a fork in their hand. So what's going on here? Oh, Nocturne, you're not doing that much damage now, buddy. It's weird how that works. It's almost as if your champion falls off a little bit. Especially if you're going to play with Sunfire and Frozen Heart. Got it. It's a weird smite on my part. All right. We got a constant 20% movement speed. Just walking around. Moving 500 movement speed right now. It's cool. Increased by an additional 50%. So we get 70% bonus movement speed after we use our R for six, seven seconds. Six seconds. It's a long time. All right, here we go. Bang time, baby. You get on Lucian. Forced out there. Sharia's there. They panicked. They thought there was like, going to flash. I don't have flash. Got the Q and the R. That's a triple dipple ripple. 
Yeah, the triple dipple. Now we kite back. And we're doing lots of damage right now, too. I was like, where the heck did Nafar go? I think Mord art it. The Nar kites shouldn't matter. He did kill Set. <laughs> That's GG's. Well played. The Moo Moo late game pulling in hard. Also, the team played, we played pretty well together. These random people. Let's look at the graphs. Damage dealt, damage taken, runes. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we were one of the highest in the games. We were basically tied for second. And then these guys were essentially tied for first with Zaya having a bit more. For damage taken, we had one of the highest in the games. Set very high as well. Self mitigated, we were one of the highest in the games. And for runes, high value. All in all, Umumu, I'd say he's in a decent spot. If you're playing him iron through diamond, the champion's not holding you back. It's gonna, it's gonna be your clear routes and your ganks that would be holding you back. Because his late game is so, so scary, man. That huge AoE R if you land a single Q, it's arguably better than a Fiddle R. Because Fiddle R, it's easier to stay away from since he has to channel it. You can just run away. It's word for it. The Umumu, it's straight up long range Q, dude. If you guys enjoyed this Amumu video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.